Good day. Welcome to Teacher Ariel TV. Today, you are going to learn about finding the greatest common factor or GCF using continuous division. I have here a word problem. Vicky has 20 apples and 24 bananas. She wants to make fruit baskets with the same number of each fruit in each basket. What is the greatest number of fruit baskets she can make? To solve the problem, you need to find the greatest common factor of 20 and 24. Here's how you do it by continuous division. Let's write 20 and 24 horizontally. Let's make an L shape. Now, think of a prime number can divide 20 and 24. We are going to use 2 because 2 can divide both 20 and 24 without a remainder. So we are going to use 2 as our common prime divisor. Write this on the left side of a given number. Then, let's proceed with division. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. Let's write the quotient below the number. Next, 24 divided by 2 equals 12. The remaining numbers are 10 and 12. Now, 10 of prime number can divide 10 and 12. Now, we are going to use 2 because 2 can divide both 10 and 12 without remainder. Let's proceed with division. 10 divided by 2 equals 5 12 divided by 2 equals 6 the remaining numbers are 5 and 6 5 and 6 have no common factors therefore we can now stop dividing next multiply the prime divisors we have 2 times 2 equals 4. So, the greatest common factor is 4. The greatest number of fruit baskets she can make is 4. Another example, find the greatest common factor of 25 and 15. First, Let's make an L shape. Think of a prime number can divide 25 and 15. We are going to use 5 because 5 can divide both 25 and 15 without a remainder. We are going to use 5 for our common prime divisor. Let's proceed with division. 25 divided by 5 equals 5 and 15 divided by 5 equals 3 the remaining numbers are 5 and 3 5 and 3 have no common factors therefore we can now stop dividing we have 5 our divisor so, the greatest common factor is 5. Another example. Find the greatest common factor of 18 and 27. First, let's make an L shape. Think of a prime number can divide 18 and 27. 
we are going to use 3 because 3 can divide both 18 and 27 without a remainder. We are going to use 3 as our common prime divisor. Let's proceed with division. 18 divided by 3 equals 6 and 27 divided by 3 equals 9. The remaining numbers are 6 and 9. Think of a prime number can divide 6 and 9. We are going to use 3 because 3 can divide both 6 and 9 without a remainder. So we are going to use 3 as our common prime divisor. Then let's proceed with division. 6 divided by 3 equals 2 and 9 divided by 3 equals 3. The remaining numbers are 2 and 3. 2 and 3 have no common factors. Therefore, we can now stop dividing. Next, multiply the prime divisors. We have 3 times 3 equals 9. So, the greatest common factor is 9. Quiz time. Let's answer this. Find the greatest common factor using continuous division. You only have 10 seconds to answer. Find the greatest common factor of 10 and 6. Start now. Time's up. The answer is 2. The greatest common factor is 2. Another 4 and 20. Times up. The answer is 2 times 2 equals 4. The greatest common factor is 4. Another 15 and 9. Times up. The answer is 3. 14 and 10. Times up, the answer is 2. The greatest common factor is 2. 25 and 30. Times up, the answer is 5. Twenty and sixteen. Times up. The answer is two times two equals four. The greatest common factor is four. 14 and 21. 
times up, the answer is 7. Eighteen and thirty. Times up. The answer is three times two equals six. The greatest common factor is six. 45 and 30 times up the answer is 5 times 3 equals 15 the greatest common factor is 15 36 and 54 times up the answer is 3 times 3 times 2 equals 18 the greatest common factor is 18 That's all for now. I hope you enjoy learning about finding the greatest common factor using continuous division. Thanks for watching.